Uh, it's moments like this where you pause and think of all the things you're grateful for. I'm grateful that I was born Samoan. I'm grateful that I was raised in a Christian household. I'm deeply grateful to Tangata Whenua that me and my people have had opportunities in this country beyond our wildest dreams. I'm grateful to Victoria University for politicising me to your issues and that over the course of my life I've had opportunities to support your kaupapa, which has in turn enriched me and my people. I'm grateful that my language and my culture has a safe home in the motherland and lament that that is not the case for tangata whenua in your own country. I'm grateful that in my position as a judge, there is pay equity. And I think of my Pacifica sisters in particular, who are amongst the lowest paid workers in this country, alongside our Māori sisters. I'm grateful that I have a partner and husband of some 40, 34 years. <laughs> I had to ask him this afternoon how long it was, and he said 34 non-parole. <laughs> and that is true. So I'm uh, grateful for that relationship that started during my years at university here at Victoria. Uh, people still ask him what he graduated in Victoria. He got a PhD in me. Uh, he didn't attend university but was here as much as I was. Um, I'm grateful uh, because I see the other side of this every day in my work as a family court judge in particular. I'm grateful that my household um, is a loving violent free home and that my children have been raised within that. I'm grateful that my children are here, that they get to see this moment. Uh, my parents have gone to glory um, but live on through all of us. My children got stuck on a plane for a couple of hours today coming out of Auckland and are on a plane at 6.15 a.m. for exams at 9 15 a.m. I've not always been the best mum, but I've done the best I could um, for all of you. And I thank you on behalf of all of those people that I've been able to help along the way, because that's taken something away from my being your mum. And I'm so grateful that you shared me with other people. My siblings are here tonight. I can't do life without you. You know that. My nieces and nephews. Um, life ultimately is about relationships. And I've been blessed with so many amazing ones. I want to acknowledge Justice Mata Tuatanga Loa, who's come from Samoa, especially for tonight. She's sitting next to my great friend, Judge Emma Aitken, who was a pioneer in her own right. Lua Manawao Winnie Laban, her and I have been contemporaries through her political career and through my career in the law. She was at my swearing-in. She moved my nomination. She embodies sisterhood amongst Pacifica women. And Winnie, this is for us. This is for those that didn't make it. This is for those who are yet to make it. And this is um, especially for all of my people in South Auckland. We belong here. We belong here and all of those people at that table, 
your first black tie event. This is our night. <laughs> God bless us all. Thank you.